showing off the new office in three, two, one. <laughs> So what do you guys think? This is pretty cool. I'm really excited. I'm going to share with you guys just a little bit of what I've been doing over the last couple weeks uh, since I haven't posted a video. I've got a really, really, really awesome blonding technique that I want to share with you guys today. But first, I want to show you guys the office, the new digs that we got going on here at FSE. So this is the editing part of the studio. This is my office. Um, it's all the same that you've been seeing, but it's just we built a wall right here. Um, we got all the live streaming stuff over here. And then what's really cool is what's behind this wall. So let me show you guys what that looks like. Okay, so seriously, isn't this awesome? It's very, very exciting. We're now doing tons and tons of shoots for all kinds of different hair companies in the beauty industry. So that's the really exciting part. We built this studio, we bring the artists here, we film all the content for all of these companies. So a lot of the free salon education that you're seeing from different hair companies, we're creating it. So it's pretty cool, it's very exciting, and also we're creating your free content for FSC channels as well right here in the studio. So that's the new studio, that's all the new stuff that's going on, it's very, very exciting. I um, hope you guys are excited about it as well. A lot of things are gonna be created in this space and I'm also, I'm gonna do a whole video showcasing everything about this studio. If you'd like to see that, post in the comments below and I'll make sure that I make that video soon. Uh, but I wanna know that you guys obviously wanna see those things as well. So today what we're gonna focus on is blonding. We're gonna blonde up a model. So I got a live model for you guys and then I'm gonna tone her using the brand new Paul Mitchell VG series. It's a violet gold. I think you're really gonna like this and the cool thing about a violet gold is that it adds a little bit of that brightness to it. So a lot of times when we try to neutralize hair color, what happens is it gets a little bit muddy, it gets a little bit muted. When you have that gold in there, it brightens it up. So you're gonna see a beautiful, beautiful blonde tone at the end of this video. So can't wait to show you guys my process. Let's get started, here we go. All right guys, so we're gonna start off, this is our model and she's got four to five inches of roots. So she hasn't had her hair colored in quite a while. She's got some previous color on the end. So we're gonna be working through to create an even canvas first. We're gonna use Paul Mitchell Synchro Lift 20 volume. It's an on and off the scalp powder, powder lightener. Um, so I'm gonna start working in the nape. Now notice that her hair is a little bit damp and the reason it's damp is because I took her to the shampoo bowl. I did a clarifying shampoo first, a little bit of conditioner and now I bring her back and I start applying the lightener on her wet hair. I learned this from my pal, uh, Hair Like a Boss, so if you wanna check him out on Instagram. Um, after I saw him do it this way in person, uh, I haven't done it differently than this since because I just feel like the way that the lightener goes on the wet hair is so much easier to apply. You get much better saturation. You don't get those holidays, and honestly, I feel like all my clients that I've done this on end up with healthier hair at the end. I don't know if that has anything to do with the wet hair, but just that saturation, I love working with it this way. Now the key things here, you're gonna notice I'm using Saran Wrap. I like using Saran Wrap because I feel like it just incubates the hair, but you can also see the hair lifting through it. Uh, so it's so much easier for me than foils. So I work that from a little bit about half an inch off the scalp all the way through the ends and I heavily saturate the hair. Now, this is another thing, you're gonna use a lot of lightener when you do this process, but you really wanna soak the hair in lightener and then you can see I fold that saran wrap up, keeps it nice and tight. Keeping the lightener off the scalp, I try to do that as much as possible. The scalp will lighten faster uh, using the heat from the scalp as well. Uh, so I'm not worried about that not lifting. It also has no previous color on it, so I don't have to worry about that either. So I do the same process on the opposite side, going half an inch off the scalp, working my way through about half inch sections. You should be able to see through the section when you paint that lightener on so that you don't, you wanna make sure you have no uh, missed spots. Uh, or inconsistencies in your lightening process. So we're gonna work our way through up the head uh, the same way uh, all the way across. So you'll notice 
I just do up to the occipital bone at that point. Um, I like to section off the back into two. Uh, I don't need to work all the way up and I really separate those because they're really, I'm working with different panels and I think the more you break up your sections, the easier it is to control it. So then I work the rest of the way from the occipital bone up to the crown of the head. to start working at the temple area nothing's really going to change here still half an inch off of the scalp um, biggest difference is I want to protect your ear so I'm going to slide a uh, piece of saran wrap underneath after I paint the section so I paint that lightener on first work it through with my hands then I put the uh, saran wrap up underneath just like that now I'll continue working up the head to get both sides to match exactly the same So now I've got uh, everything from an inch off the scalp down to the ends completely saturated. You can see the lift happening. Now I slide that uh, the saran wrap off and I start painting the base. Now this won't have to be on too long and you can see the ends are already lifting really nice, really consistent throughout. So I just go through, take those small, uh, still half inch sections throughout the head and paint the lightener on the scalp, still using 20 volume as I work through. The other good thing about separating these sections into half inch sections and working through is that if there are any spots that are a little inconsistent uh, throughout, you can change those, you can paint on those, add a little extra lightener to them as you work through. Now you can see the lift that we got. And I'm gonna play off of those yellow tones in our hair, but we're gonna use the 9VG, so it's a violet gold. Really excited, I'm gonna add a little bit of clear because I wanna cut that nine a little bit, go a little more level 10, and then also 10 volume because I'm not looking to lift the hair at all, just deposit. So uh, the 9VG, the violet is gonna help tone out a little bit of that really gold tone, but then also we're gonna keep a little bit of the gold as well to keep the brightness in the, in the hair. So a lot of times we'll just put violet in and we'll mute everything, but you wanna have a little bit of that golden tone to keep the brightness in the color and you'll, you'll see that in the end result. So thing I loved about this color, obviously it was my first time using it. It's a brand new hair color they just sent me. Um, I loved the violet tone that came through real quick. So felt like I had a lot of control on that yellow, but then at the end, uh, what you'll see is that it really just keeps that brightness and it's a beautiful natural looking blonde. So I paint this through all the way in. Um, I go pretty much scalp to mid shaft um, first, then I paint the ends right after it, just really getting that heavy saturation throughout. So um, 
no big rhyme or reason, just four quadrants, get the color on as fast as you can. And then I let that process for the entire uh, 25, 30 minutes. You can see that violet tone pulling through. So here's our end result. You can see it's a nice neutral blonde, uh, but natural. So that's one of my favorite things about this whole thing. I wanted to show it to you a little bit straight so you can get that feel for it. And then we're gonna wave it up a little bit with the Palmetto wand so you can see that. But see those natural golden tones coming through? It just, it doesn't look muted. It looks bright. It looks natural. So just loving this tone. Uh, glad that they came out with a VG series. So hope you guys like it as well. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. I'd love to answer those for you. Thank you so much for watching.